Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons. And today is the second anniversary of Minecraft Dungeons. So we've got a brand new event. So if we come over here to the missions, you can see we've got two rewards that we can get. We can get this brand new pet. And then we've also got uh, this brand new cape that we can get as well. So today, I'm going to be going for the brand new pet that we've got here. And to do that, you have to complete the tower once. And then to get the cape, you have to complete six of the seasonal trials. So if we go back to the, uh, the mainland here, you can see we've got brand new seasonal trials. Where you can get all of the uh, really cool uh, limited time items uh, in here. So we've got two there. Let's see, is there any on any of the other islands? I think they're just on the mainland. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any uh, other trials anywhere else. So they're only found here on the mainland. So we've got one over here and one over here. And every day these will change. So make sure you log in every day and get those seasonal trials before they're gone. Uh, but today, I'm going to be completing the brand new tower so I can get this new pet. Okay, so here we are in the tower. Let's see how this tower goes. Uh, we're starting off in the underwater levels. Okay, this will be interesting. So let's see how difficult this is. Now, it's only 22 floors, which is kind of an interesting number. I think they did that because it's like the second anniversary. So we've got 22 floors to complete. So it's not as big as like a 30 floor tower. Uh, so let's see how difficult it is. And already I'm drowning. There we go. I just got a little bit of air right there. And now we should be good. There's just one more uh, drowner over here. And that is floor one complete. Uh, so now let's see what kind of items we've got. Uh, I think I'm just going to grab an enchantment point to start off with. Uh, which means I need to see what kind of stuff is on all of my gear. Okay, so here we are in level two. We're once again in the underwater levels. So let's see... Uh, if I can actually defeat all of these mobs. They seem to be pretty easy at the moment. But we're only at the uh, the bottom of the tower. So it gets harder from here. Now it looks like we need to use this shell to get up here. And then we can open up the doors. Uh, there we go. Now we can escape this floor. Perfect. So what do we have now? We got some bees nest armor. We got a glaive, and then we also got a lightning rod. I think I'm going to take the uh, the bee's nest armor. Okay, so I just completed floor three, and I just got a, a really interesting item. I got a diamond pickaxe uh, for my weapon here. I think I'm going to grab that because uh, it's been a while since I've used the, uh, the diamond pickaxe, and it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and enchant it. I probably could put fire aspect on Let's do that. So let's see how the uh, the diamond pickaxe does. It is a slower weapon, but it does do uh, a decent amount of damage. And we've also got the uh, the fire uh, enchantment on it as well. Okay, so that is floor four done. Let's see what items we've got. Nothing really that good. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, we've got apparently skeleton horses in here. I think this is the first time I've ever seen like mini bosses on the uh, combat floor. Usually they save those for the boss floors. But we're just on a regular combat floor here. Uh, now I also need to get my potion. What was that? Something just zapped all of us. Alright, let's go ahead and take this guy out with the bow. And then hopefully I can get a potion soon. There we go. Uh, is that the last guy? Nope, there's uh, some skeletons over here. Let's get uh, all these wither skeletons. And now, that should be floor 5 done. Perfect. So let's see what the, uh, the next floor is. Okay, so I've made it to the uh, first merchant floor here. Let's see what it is. It's apparently a guildsmith. 
cool. I'm gonna make this gilded so I can have a gilded pickaxe and I forgot to enchant it Because uh, now the enchantment levels are gonna be even more expensive because it's gilded uh, But I want to see what I got for it deals extra damage is apparently my special ability that I got from that uh, Which is good. Uh, so I did get this hunting bow which uh, I want to upgrade this with something I'm not sure what to put on it. I'm probably just gonna put dripping poison on it should be a good ability And then maybe some looting or bonus shot. I'm gonna do bonus shot So there we go. We got some uh, Decent stuff now. Let's see what the next floor is. Do we have a, a boss level? No, it's a combat floor uh, We should be getting a, a boss at some point uh, Because we're almost like halfway up the tower Already, which is pretty crazy Okay, so I've just completed a floor 10 here. Let's see what the next one is. Oh, it's still a combat floor I'm hoping we get a, a boss soon unless they don't have bosses in this tower. It might just be uh, regular floors because it's only like 22 floors I think they might only have like one boss floor and then there's gonna be like the top boss I'm interested to see what's at the top of the tower if there's like something special up there uh, Like there's a special boss battle or something uh, But that is a floor 11 done. So let's go ahead and head to the next floor It's still a combat floor, but we are getting close to the top. I'm gonna go ahead and grab I'm Probably just gonna get another pet. You know, I forgot to even spawn in my iron golem there we go. I got an iron golem and a wolf pet to help me out here. At the moment, these levels seem to be fairly easy. There hasn't been really anything too difficult. But usually, the closer you get to the top, the harder the levels get. And that was a pretty easy level right there. So let's go ahead and head through the door and see what our rewards are. We got a bunch of brand new armor, which it might be a good idea to upgrade the armor. So I'm gonna get probably this one and here is the boss floor now before we do the boss I do want to do some enchantments here So we got some of the drowned necromancers here So let's go ahead and take these guys out We'll go ahead and use my arrows here and then we'll go in with the uh, the pickaxe I might as well take this guy out over here uh, Because the uh, the other ones almost dead. So let's go ahead and take him out and this is the our last drowner that we have to take out. Oh wait, there's one more. There we go. Floor 13 is complete. Uh, this doesn't really have any good items. So let's go to the merchant and see what they got. Is this a power smith? It is. So I'm gonna use the power smith on my pickaxe here. And then I'll uh, use the next merchant, probably on like the armor. Or the bow one of those so let's see what's next oh we're back in the uh, the water levels cool so we got a, a bunch of the uh, the drowners here that we got to take out we also have some of these like special water slimes oh right is there a guardian down here I think there's a guardian down here oh they're over here all right where's the other guardian that was attacking me though I think they're over here though they are all right let's go ahead and Zap him and then we'll take these guys out and I might as well hit these guys with the bow if They can reach that's the problem with uh, the underwater levels the bows don't really go that far You know, it might be easier just to go up here because there is actually a lot of mobs and I almost died there uh, To that guardian, but luckily I had my potion so I was able to survive so let's see what we got now. We got the blast fungus, which I really like the blast fungus So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that and we're still in the underwater levels I think this is the first time I've really ever seen a key in a tower before so we got to go find Where that is I'm assuming it's somewhere over here Let's see. Is this a pathway? Nope, that's apparently not the way to go Okay, so I found the way around to the uh, the bottom section here So let's go ahead and head down here and oh right. We got like some water currents as well All right, Let's see if we can get past all these Okay, I was able to make it 
and we got ourselves the key over here. I like how they have the little, like, glowing key on the ground here as well. They've even got some of, like, golden oxalotls as well, which is pretty cool. So now, let's go ahead and unlock the gate, and then we should be able to continue on with the level. Now, there's a lot of guys over here, so we'll go ahead and use our beam and just take them all out. There we go. Floor 16 is now done. Okay, so I've just completed floor 18 here. We're getting really close to the top here, and we've got a second boss. Okay, this will be interesting. Now, uh, I could upgrade my bow, but I just got this new one, so I don't think it's really necessary. So I'm just going to grab an extra enchantment level and use that on my growing, and then uh, we can go and fight the boss. Now, the second boss is usually a lot harder than the first one. So, I'm going to go ahead and get my bow ready here. And let's see who it is. Oh, great. It's this guy. Wait, where did that arrow even go? It didn't even do any damage. Okay, there we go. Now, the further away I am, the more damage I do with uh, the bow. So, I'm trying to stay all the way back here. So, I can do as much damage as possible. Because I've got the growing, it helps to be further away. But the problem is, my arrows keep hitting all these skeletons. I don't even know where the guy's at. Oh, he's over here. Okay, let's see if I can actually hit him. There we go. I did a, a decent amount of damage. And I missed. Alright, let's go ahead and blow these guys up. Perfect. Now we can do some damage to this guy. And there we go. That is the boss complete. So now we're on floor 20. So let's go ahead and take out all these mobs and see what the next floor is. Who's left? Oh, there's just one skeleton over here and two more over here in the, uh, the pumpkin pasture. And that is floor 20. So let's see, do we have a merchant next? Alright, so apparently we've got a combat floor here. So this is the uh, the final floor, so I don't even think we're going to get a uh, another merchant. Uh, but that's fine. I still have some decent stuff. Now, is there anything other than slimes here? Oh, there's a witch. Okay. But uh, there seems to be just slimes on this level. Can I get this uh, witch that's over here? Here, we'll just let the TNT explode him. There we go. Floor 21 is done. That was pretty easy. So here we are the final floor so uh let's see what we've got for our items nothing really that good so i'm just gonna grab uh, another level and increase i have no idea what the increase i could do more fire aspect sure i've got the level so i'm gonna get more fire aspect and then we'll do electrify the final floor here doesn't seem to be any different Oh, great. We got to get the cauldron. Oh, this is going to be really annoying. Okay. Well, here we go. Let's see if we can actually uh, defeat the uh, the cauldron here. The cauldron, I think, is like one of the most annoying bosses out of all of them. So here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, get in here with the, uh, the pickaxe. And as you can see, it's not taking a lot of damage at the moment. Oh, great. I'm going to die here. I'm just going to sit right here because none of the mobs can actually hit me. And I can hit them with my pickaxe if I just stand here and keep swinging. There we go. I almost died to that guy. I've got one health. Exactly one health. That is crazy. I do have my iron golem in. Look at all these slimes. This is ridiculous. Now, I can explode people. I also have my beam. But the iron golem is actually doing some decent damage. And I got my potion. Perfect. All right. Let's see if we can actually take out this cauldron. These slimes, though. They do so much damage. Okay, I've got an idea here. I'm going to try and sneak around all of the slimes while my iron golem distracts them. So we're going to go over here and see if I can do any damage with the bow here. All right, here we go. We're doing a little bit of damage, but the slimes have caught up to me. No. Oh, I just got some food there. That's really helpful. See, if you keep running, the slimes can't get you. But then I can't do any damage to the cauldron either. So let's just go in... Try and explode him, and then just keep running. This is really annoying. And the thing about the tower is if you die, you have to restart the whole floor over again. So the, uh, the boss health will reset. 
All right, I think I've got a really good spot here. All right, now everything's starting to catch up to me. Oh, I got an apple. Yes, that's gonna save me from having to use a potion. Uh, but I do need a potion, like right now. There we go, we got our potion. And we just need a few more hits on the, uh, the cauldron here. And there we go. All right, I need to get one more hit on this cauldron and I should be able to win. Uh, let's go right over here. And there we go. We got him with the diamond pickaxe. Now we just have to clear out all these annoying slimes. All right, there we go. We got a few more left here. And wait, where'd that one go? He's gone. We don't have to worry about him. All right, let's go and claim our reward. So do we get any items for this or is it just the pet? Let's see. Oh, we do get the picket item. They're not very good items. This is probably the worst items I've seen out of the entire tower. You get a common gilded hammer. What is this? Uh, I'm not gonna grab, well, I have to grab something. I'm just, I'm just gonna take the crossbow and probably sell it. Okay, so I've just left the tower. The adventure hub over here is glowing, which means I've got some brand new items to claim. Uh, so let's go ahead and equip these, and I should have a new pet as well. Oh, wait, I think you have to claim the pet over here at the uh, mission selector. Uh, so if we come over here, you can claim the brand new pet right here. So we'll go ahead and claim this guy. And there we go. I should have him um, in here. So here he is right here. The baby Moonbloom pet is right here. So we'll go ahead and equip this guy. And then I might as well equip the other things that I got. So that's cool. I've got my brand new pet here. Uh, I've also got uh, the cape. So to get the cape, you have to complete six of the uh, the seasonal trials that are here. Uh, but I'm going to save that for another video. So that is going to be uh, pretty much it for today. So I'm going to go and end the episode here. So make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye everybody.